This is a new Tesla competitor that's coming in a couple of years, but you'll never guess who's going to be making this beautiful electric car. It's not a Silicon Valley startup. It's not a Chinese startup. It's not an electric car project from a legacy manufacturer. It's not even my own project that you're probably pretty familiar with. This is definitely something that's happening. No, none of that. It's actually a country. It's country of Turkey. I'm not kidding. And that's why I really, really, really like the story. Um, they are going to be uh, creating and producing a pretty decent electric car. As a matter of fact, they're trying to go for five. So let me tell you about the specs. Let me tell you about some other interesting details about it. Before that, if you're interested in electric car news like this, uh, well, you came to the right place because that's what I do every day. So go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Uh, and if you already have, then click on the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so it is a pretty decent looking crossover SUV. They've also uh, kind of uh, showcased the sedan along with it in this big unveiling where the president of Turkey showed up, drove the car, said he's going to make a reservation. Um, really, really, they're making a big deal out of it. Now, this is not the first time Turkey has decided to produce a car. They kind of gave this a shot in 19, early 1960s when they tried to get this baby off the ground. The Vrem, I believe the name of it is, and it just never took off. Um, I can only assume because it didn't have the autopilot, but they are trying again. And I think this time around, it's a pretty good looking car. Um, it's, it's, I'll, I'll tell you about the specs in a little bit. Uh, they're investing $3.7 billion to uh, hopefully produce 175,000 of them per year at some point. Um, it is a collaboration, and I guess that's where the name comes from, TOG, T-O-G-G. -G. It's a collaboration between a bunch of Turkish brands. As a matter of fact, they are going to be, uh, they're going to be, uh, exclusively making this card of everything that's made in Turkey, uh, except for one thing, and I'll tell you about what that is. Um, now, I got to tell you, I'm not really quite sure if this car is going to be for sale uh, for specifically Turkish, Tur uh, Turkish citizens because um, it's, pretty, it's probably going to be pretty pricey because the specs are right on point, at least what with what everybody else is, is making right now. And the average income in Turkey is about $5,000 a year. Um, I think that was my income of my YouTube channel the first year of me doing it. So I don't see I don't see this being a, in demand uh, in on the large scale in Turkey. But I'm assuming this is going to be something that they will manufacture uh, for the rest of the world. Um, now, the reason I kind of like this story is because, um, you know, uh, this whole electric car revolution is being pushed by a couple of things, right? One of them is uh, the, uh, the, the the private sector, you know, the Teslas, the Bidens, and so forth of the world. Um, and on the other hand, it's the laws and regulations of different countries and states and counties and so forth. But this is kind of a two things in one right this is a country that's pushing the all electric car and having their uh, their auto manufacturer collaborate so I, I really like this i really 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 like this concept so the uh the 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 l l l let's get to the specs in just a second but also um you know the the one thing that's not going to be uh designed uh you know in turkey for this car it's actually the exterior design the car is beautiful and uh let me tell you who's going to design it or already has before that of course a quick reminder that this video and this uh, this channel is sponsored by byte and check out their their all electric suv called m byte can't wait to own one myself. I'm on the reservation list. You should be as well. It costs you absolutely nothing. In about, I don't know, a minute of your time, you can find the reservation form in the description of this video. So you can reserve your Byton and join myself and tens of thousands of other people who reserve this beautiful car. I'm looking forward to that. All right, so uh, the exterior design is going to be done by Pininfarina. Uh, you're probably familiar uh, with Pininfarina because they're right now making this car, Batista, uh, all-electric hypercar. You've seen it on my channel many times. As a matter of fact, I took this picture during the Monterey Car Week. Um, their, their CEO, Michael Persky, has been on my show quite a few times now. Um, now, a couple of years ago, they pre presented this concept car, which actually looks very, very, very similar to what the TOG is going to look like, uh, which is this. So, boom, boom. Um, and there is no surprise. And I got to tell you, it kind of also reminds me of the Ford Mach-E. Overall, a pretty good looking car. Um, you can see it from the, from the front and from the side. I absolutely love it. Now, this is the sedan-ish. 
uh, card that I, 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 I really like. The color maybe not the best for the showcase, but I do like the design. And here's another one. And um, the I, I like the dashboard of the car as well. It's actually very, it reminds me of uh, the Porsche Taycan, as you can see, like the entire dashboard is taken up by like three screens, not quite Byton, but uh, kind of a more like Porsche and the larger screen is also on the bottom. But one thing I wanted to point out, I really like this um, sort of elevated handrest, I guess, where um, I really, really like the concept where it's elevated and I guess you can control the joystick in the monitors from it. I think it's kind of cool. I'm actually wondering why others have not done it, but I, I really like that particular feature. All right, let's talk about the specs. Uh, the range is decent, and don't forget this is a couple of years away, but 180 miles to about 300 miles, you know, I, we don't know what the EPA rating is going to be. It is on par with everything else that's happening. Will it be outdated by then? Probably a little, but since we don't know what the price is going to be, you know, if, if the price is going to be low, then it might actually be very much okay um zero to 60 again with a lower with a on the lower end uh, it's a smaller battery uh, uh so 7.6 seconds zero to 60 uh with a higher battery with a higher capacity battery you'll also get performance of course 4.8 zero to 60 that's not bad again kind of a ford uh, mustang mach e type of specs it's going to charge at about 150 kilowatts uh, decent Decent, like pretty much like everybody else right now. So they might be a year or two behind, but we don't know by how much. And again, it's all about the price and um, the uh, the deliveries. And I don't think I got my slides correctly here. You can probably tell that I'm making this at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, the delivery is going to happen in uh, 2022. So you know, uh, relative for for a for a country that's never made this before, uh, and and from zero to production, uh, they haven't built a factory yet. This is this is a relatively decent, um, and, and by that I mean good uh, timeline. So uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. I think that another competitor where the country is behind this technology, right? They could have made a gas car. I mean, it's Turkey, and they probably would have done pretty well there, but they've decided to go with electric technology. I absolutely love it. By the way, thank you to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon. This is one of many ways how you can support this channel. Um, and the perk of being a Patreon is to watch this live before everybody else. So if you want to join my Patreon community, go to patreon.com slash e4electric. That link is in the description of this video. And of course, once again, a reminder, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, there's a subscribe button down there. And also, if you already have, click on the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, let me know. Would you buy a car from a country? I, I haven't thought about it before, so uh, that would be an interesting concept. Uh, would you be a reservation holder? Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, see you next time, and remember to stay charged.